What's up people, this is your 8th assembly language tour and in this one we're gonna try and display the result that we obtained in the previous tutorial. So we successfully um, stored the two numbers that we had in the four registers that we need to store them and we successfully added the respective parts which we had to add and we stored the result in, in Barney, right? Now I have my result stored in Barney which as you all can see I have the result is kind of stored in two different words, right? So we have the first uh, LSB word, which is the least, least significant word, uh, and that has the least significant 16 bits of the result. And we have the most significant word, which has the most significant 16 bits of the result. Now, we're supposed to display this value, and uh, people might think that this is easy. This is supposed to be easy, right? But in assembly, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's not easy. And the reason why it's not easy is because I haven't been able to find a function which can do this directly. So I haven't found a direct way of, of displaying the contents of a register or a word. That being said, uh, people have uh, said that why not use uh, this, right? The reason why you cannot use this is because this is uh, the print string function in DOS and what this is going to do is, let's say I have my result which in this case is going to be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, followed by an A, yeah. So let's say I store this value in, in DX and I call my 09H function to display this value. What it's going to do is it's going to find a string which is equivalent to this, this value, alright, and it's going to display that string. So it's going to think of this number as a string, okay. And I don't know how the conversion actually happens, but you're going to get a bunch of characters on your screen and, you know, you're not going to be getting the original correct value so how do you go about displaying something well I'm gonna be showing you how uh, I did it and it's not the easiest way to do it. it's definitely not the easiest way to do it uh, but I haven't got the time to go ahead and do some research on this and find out another method so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna try and explain this to you in the easiest way possible so you can understand so in this video, I'm going to be covering the logic which you need in order to display something on the screen. So let's get started. The first thing that we that we need is a, a function to display something, right? Now, again, I do not have a function to display the contents of a register or a word, right? But I have a function which displays a character on the screen. All right, and the function which does that is 02H. This is pretty easy to remember. There are two basic functions that you you're gonna be needing in in almost all of your programs. They are uh, one of them is zero one edge and the other one is zero two edge. Zero one edge is a function to read a character from from the user or take user input, right? But only for a single character. And zero two edge is to display that character on the screen. Now, what what exactly happens when you use these functions is very important. When I use the DOS function 01 H, what it does is it reads a value uh, from the keyboard. Let's say I press S. So it, it reads S and it stores the hex value of S in a register. All right. So the hex value of S is stored in a register. Now, what does 02 H do? It reads a value, it assumes that the value it's reading is a hex value. It converts the hex value to its ASCII equivalent and displays a character. So let's say S has a value of 1, 2, 3. Now, what it's going to do is 1, 2, 3 is actually stored in the memory. So when I call 0, 2, H, and when it reads 1, 2, 3, it's not going to display 1, 2, 3. It's going to find out the ASCII equivalent of 1, 2, 3, which is S, and it's going to display S. All right. So <laughs> that being said, uh, what do we really need to do in order to get this working again right on the steps as I always say right on the steps so what we need number one we need a sort of a loop right not a lock a loop we need a loop and why we need a loop is because this prints only a single character right so we need a sort of a loop which goes around the entire thing and and prints the value what we also need is uh, we need to find out the right character to be printed and uh, why we need to do this is because when we're looping through this, we don't want the values 2, 3, 4, 5, A, 9, 8, 7 to be displayed, right? Or we don't want the 
the values to be displayed in reverse say 9876 you want this to be displayed in the exact same way so it looks like the result all right so to do this we need to find out the right character to be printed at every single step right and the third and the last thing which is really important in this is to perform hex ASCII conversion now this is really really important because uh, let's say I just store this value to uh, to a register and you know I try to print it now what's gonna do is obviously the value 2 this it, it points to something else right it does not point to the ASCII 2 so we need to convert this 2 to the ASCII 2 and how we do that is is pretty simple see uh, open up your internet browser and, and uh, type in ASCII.cl in the address bar hit enter what you'll get is the ASCII table on your screen now if you check out this ASCII table very very carefully look at this value ASCII 0 and hex 0 are the same right now we're, we're interested in in the symbol right here okay so the hex 0 corresponds to null and the hex 30 corresponds to the symbol 0 so actually the symbol is going to be printed all right so uh, let's say I have 2 which I need to print now obviously the value which is stored in the memory is the hex 2 right but I have to print the symbol 2 now the symbol 2 is right here so we have this 2 stored in the memory we want to print the symbol 2 if you check out the hex code for the symbol 2 it's 32 right so this is 2 and this is 32 and what that means is if I add the value 30 edge to every single value in in my uh, result what I get is the actual symbol corresponding to that particular value so if I need to print 2 and I have the hex 2 over here if I add 30 to it, it becomes 32 and I get the symbol 2 right same is the case for all the values from 0 to 9 all right from 0 to 9 you just add 30 and, and you get the value all right now what happens after 9 when you cross 9 the next value that you need to print is is a right because there's no 10 this is a hexadecimal number system there is no 10 all right so we need to print an a on the screen so let's find out the ASCII code for that now the ASCII code for an a is 41 um, not the ASCII code the hex code the hex code for the symbol a is 41 and what we're going to be having here is this a right we're going to be having the hex a and we're going to want to convert the hex a to the symbol a and so the hex code for the symbol a is 41 this is really really important I know this, this can get a little confusing but please please get this clear in your head you we have to convert the hex a to the symbol a and to do that what we're having right here is the value 41 right so the hex value 41 is what corresponds to the symbol a now you might say that all right uh, we have a normal a which is, which is right here and we have the the hex a which is 41 right so you might think that all right the difference is the same right well, that was 10 and this is 40 so I gotta add 30 again to it to make it right but no this is not the real difference and and to prove my point uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what is the difference between the value hex value 41 and the hex value a and to do that what you all can do is uh, how did that happen you can open up command prompt and uh, go to C Windows system 32 and run your debug.exe over there now debug.exe has an inbuilt uh, hex adder subtractor which you can call by using the H uh, instruction and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting in my values which is 41 and A alright so the difference between these two values is 37 and not 40 alright so this is really really important whenever you have conversion doubts or your conversion is not happening, prop happening properly you got to take care that the differences that you're using are correct so the difference between 41 and a in hexadecimal is 37 all right and not 30 so that being said uh, that's what we're gonna do basically we're gonna be performing conversions uh, from these values to their actual symbols all right 
So that's our um, third and the most important step. And then we're just going to be printing printing the values, right? So <laughs> how exactly am I, am I going to go about doing this? <clears throat> what I'm going to be doing is uh, I said I need a loop, right? Now, I'm not going to be using a loop to go through uh, all of these characters. And, and why I'm not going to be having a loop to do that is because my result is again stored as two words. All right, it's not stored as a single word or a single double word. It's stored as two words. So I'm going to be having a loop which works on one word at a time. All right, so my loop uh, would work on one word at a time. And to do that, what I'm really trying to say here is I'm going to have something which is nested. So if I have a nested loop to do this, my auto variable here would be given the value 2 right because I'm having two words and my inner variable which is going to be working on the word itself uh, would be given a value of 4 because the word is 4 digits in size right or 4 characters in size so very important the outer loop, outer loop is going to be having a value of 2 which is the outer loop variable I'm, I'm really sorry about that and the inner loop variable is going to be having the value of 4 all right now with that clear, with all, with all of this logic clear, we're going to go ahead and we're going to write the real code to display this value on the screen. Uh, remember, we're going to be going one character at a time and one word at a time. Alright, this has been a long, long tutorial. I'm going to be uh, catching you all in the next one. In the next one, I'm actually going to be writing the real uh, code for display. So, thank you all for watching. Have fun. Enjoy.